We don't like the center of attention, but we love the farm. Well, there you go. I'm here with Marie Kelly, and we're talking about this incredible lot uh, uh, out here on Opiongo Road. You can see, if I just turn this way a little bit, that you can see uh, uh, the Ottawa River, and there is a, an easement that takes you down there where you can put your boats. But Marie, you, you were just saying that you had a plan for this lot, which involved a whole bunch of different buildings and different ideas. So can you yeah, tell us about I, that? I think uh, the buyer of this lot, is going to be a very, very lucky person. Okay. Because this is the last estate lot in Crown Point before amalgamation. I bought it before amalgamation, right. and I've kept it ever since. And we bought it with the uh, inheritance money of my wife as an investment. Fabulous. And it's been a very good investment. I'm sure it has. And uh, we, we've we surveyed the land. We have very high ground. Uh, the original owner of this property did two septic tanks sept uh, in this lot. Yeah. And both of them were sandy, beautiful, approved for septic. But you see, you basically you've got four and a half to five football fields. Yeah. And on, on this is the entrance off the private road. So the person who has some wealth, wants to retire or raise a family in a quiet, safe neighborhood, this is the neighborhood. So you did say, though, that you thought the main house goes here with a view of the water. Yeah. And then beside that would be the garage or yeah. two. Yeah. And uh, my vision of a person that wants to come out here Usually you get two garages, one becomes a workshop, and one... Absolutely. You know, the joke in Canada is if there's four cars outside, there's nobody home. <laughs> uh, the, uh, when, but in here, uh, this is a, a destination uh, right. place So to you live. would have a, a house you with a view of the water, yeah. you would have access to the water, yeah. you'd have a garage, you'd have a workshop, and uh, then you said you'd have a guest house, a too. A coach house. A coach house, yeah. Basically because of your not the, the knowledge you passed on to me, that then that would be perfect for... Uh, a wealthy person, that Aunt Heather, uh, uh, Aunt Le, Uncle Bill, Grandpa, come on, we've got a big house, we're in the woods, we can go for a walk. We're next to Camp Woolsey, 125 acres of the most beautiful 500-acre forest in all of Ontario. Wow. The only other place that has these pine cones, the red pines, is in Timmins. Wow. So this is a very That's vital a area away. for pines. All right. Well, thank you very much, Marie. Good luck.